Hi friends, in previous video we went through the basics of Vagrant and Vagrant file. In this video we'll go through additional commands and taking snapshots. Using the Vagrant command options for help, you can get a list of all available commands. The list commands option shows additional options for Docker and rsync. As I covered in a previous video, the basic Vagrant commands are Vagrant init to initialize or create the Vagrant file, Vagrant up to start your VM or Vagrant box, Vagrant SSH to connect to your running box through SSH, Exit to get out of your SSH session, Vagrant Halt to shut down the Vagrant box and Vagrant Destroy to delete the box but keep the Vagrant file and the base image. You can use the following cheat sheet for most used commands and Vagrant file syntaxes. Use Vagrant Global Status to check whether any boxes are running. This is especially handy when running multiple boxes. And use Vagrant Halt with the box ID to stop the uh, running box. You can run any bash script right after the first time you run a box by uncommenting the last couple of lines on your default Vagrant file. In this case, apt-get update will run and then Apache 2 will be installed. With plugins, you can add new functionality to Vagrant. You can find a list of available plugins in the following link, which is also in the description. In there, you find also the documentation about the plugin. Install a plugin with Vagrant plugin install, followed by, by the name of the plugin. Get a list of all your installed plugins with Vagrant plugin list. Update your plugin with Vagrant plugin update and remove the plugin with Vagrant plugin uninstall. Next, let's discuss snapshots. Taking snapshots enable you to preserve the state and data of a virtual machine at a specific point in time. There are two ways you can take and restore snapshots in Vagrant. A quick way without entering a descriptive name or one with a name. The VM can be powered down or running to take the snapshot. If you want to quickly create a snapshot without entering a name, then use Vagrant Snapshot Push. To quickly restore that snapshot, use Vagrant Snapshot Pop. This will by default delete the snapshot after restoring it and run the box. You can get a list of all created snapshots and decide to delete individual snapshots. To take a snapshot with a name, enter Vagrant Snapshot Save, followed by the name of the snapshot. You can take as many snapshots as you need. To show all your snapshots, enter Vagrant Snapshot List. To restore a previous snapshot, enter Vagrant Snapshot Restore, followed by the name. According to Vagrant documentation, you should not combine push pop method with save and restore. You can take as many snapshots as you want, but it will take some space on your hard drive. Watch my video about VirtualBox snapshots for more information. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.